Hi friends, welcome to Active Cell Protection Extra. Today on John's Briefs at the C2 Tactical the 338 Club with Tim Forshee, my friend and fantastic criminal defense attorney. I wanna to talk today, we saw a video on the channel not too long ago, links in the description to a police officer who used the Columbo clothes and it's really literally what it's called. Yeah. It's taught, I wanna to talk to the lawyer about it. Mm -hmm. Firearms Legal Protection is who I trust to help me after a use of force incident. If you're a Firearms Legal Protection member, you can attend our monthly active self-protection training seminars for free. Check out all they offer to their members at the link below. So if you go watch this, this guy, you know, a cop, a cost some 19 year old guy uh, who's in the mall and has asked a bunch of underage teenage girls how old they are. The teenage girls got skeeved out about him, told the local constabulary he's working an off duty gig, goes and talks to the kid. Kid has uh, alcohol on his person, he's drinking it, talks to him for a while, then kicks him out of the mall. Hey, you're out of here, buddy. Go on, don't do this again. Okay. Hands him his, you know, keeps his out the alcohol bottle. Then he says, okay, man, you're free to go. Hey, can I ask you one more question about, uh, are, are you carrying anything in your bag that I should know about? And then the guy's like, uh, no. And well, come to find out he had some weed and he had a gun. A and, stolen gun. Yeah, a stolen gun, no less. And then the kid ends up dying of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the gunfight that ensued. And a lot of people, um, Mike and I talked about this on the channel. We yeah. talked about this Columbo thing. Right. Mike said he'd use that himself. Oh, yeah. Listen, I know uh, almost every patrol sure. cop I know. Sure. Uh, because, uh, okay, um, but I don't want to steal the thunder too much. So w tell me your thoughts on this, Tim. Well, uh, you, you want to be cooperative with police officers, right? You have a requirement to give ID to a police officer. You have certain requirements that you mm -hmm. have to comply with. Once the cop says you're free to go, uh, stay safe and turn and walk away, right? I mean, because even if the cop isn't being devious, and, and, and let's be honest, they're taught to be devious, and a good cop is devious. I want cops to be devious, right? Well, you do too. Well, We're criminals are devious. We're safer to have devious cops, exactly. So, but, but even if the cop's not being devious, if you just start chatting, if you just start answering off the cuff questions, oh, I'm not a suspect anymore? Oh, well then I can tell you this, you know? Right. Uh, you just start talking and you get verbal diarrhea and you're nervous and you forget that you don't do this for a living and this isn't comfortable for you and you just start chatting away, that's when, I mean, a cop is basically just throwing a net into the river. He's and fishing. And what he catches. Yeah. And guess well, what, there's lots of fish in the river. They catch stuff. People waive their right to be, to, to, uh, to not have a, a, a search. They give a, a consensual agreement. Do you mind if I search your car? Search. And sure. There's, and there's methamphetamine yeah. in the backseat. What are you doing giving consent? I mean, don't be dealing methamphetamine, but what are you doing giving consent? Know your rights. So yeah, when, when a cop says, uh, uh, yeah, you're free to go. That should be the end of the conversation. Stay safe, officer, and walk away. So there's some legal stuff here, right? Mm -hmm. There's some legal precedents. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I don't have the court cases in my head. But under your Fourth Amendment, you have a right against unreasonable search and seizure, Correct. right? And a seizure is detention. So if an officer right. says you're not free to go, you are detained You've legally. Been You've yeah. been seized, mm -hmm. as it were. Even if you're not in cuffs, you're not sitting in the back of a car, you haven't been charged with a crime, you're seized. When the officer says, you're free to go. That means the probable cause has disappeared. Legally, that encounter has ended. That's right. Because the officer has said, you're free to go. Now, legally, yeah. any other discussion you have between you is consensual. That's correct. And now, all those rules about what the officer, well, not all of them, but a big number of them about what he can ask or she can ask and all those things, they go away. That's right. Because now we're having a consensual conversation. Yeah. But of course, I think a lot of people don't feel like it's consensual. That's just it. So the issue becomes when is detention actually over? Are the handcuffs off? You're no longer detained. You know what I mean? Or have you been told you're not free to go? Then you're detained. Right. Uh, at the beginning of the video, you see the guy ask the officer, am I free to go? And the officer says, nope. Right. He's detaining him. You're He's detained. asking him questions. I need to check your ID, figure out what's going on at the booze, ask you about these girls that you were accosting. I still have probable cause to continue my questioning. You are being detained. You're not arrested. You're not in custody. You're being detained. And right. the Fourth Amendment In attaches. the course of my investigation. That's great. And the Fourth Amendment attaches, like you said, yeah. So, so I, I really think that, again, an officer can, uh, they, they know that law. They're very well trained sure in do. that law. And they have to be because they get convictions you know, uh, invalidated yeah. or they get cases thrown out if they do it wrong. That's right. But, of course, most good people, they don't get... You know, they're, they're not being interviewed by the police very often or right. detained. I think, you know, the only time almost any of us are detained by the police is to get a speeding ticket. Generally speaking. You know what I mean? I mean 90% of people. 90% yeah. of people yep. that interact with law enforcement, it's going to be that thing, right? Mm -hmm. The light's turned on. Guess what? I'm detained. Right. Aha. You know, yep. a reasonable person. And when the officer says, okay, here's your stuff back. Drive safe. Have a nice day. Yeah. The detention has ended. And then if the officer says, oh, by the way, 
Yeah. Do you have oh, anything in your car? I oh, actually by the know way, about. yeah. And and so I mean, I really think it's 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 not wrong. And I and, and listen, my cop friends, when I talk about this stuff, they go, John, shut up. We yeah. use this. The bad guys don't right. need to know this. Stop, stop giving them hints. Stop giving them hints. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to help the good guys. I value my whole bill of rights. Yeah, that's right. That's true. And and okay, let's talk about that kid who ended up dying of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Lots of stupidity going on yeah. there. He's got a stolen gun. What's that trash about? Well, you kind of wonder what was behind that story. Yeah. And, and, and there was a bunch of other those things. But did you notice, like I did when I watched the, first, the I watched the video just one time only, which is yep. what I try to do with these videos that we talk about. Um, the guy was fidgety with that Merce. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, yeah, he was no. very fidgety with the Merce. Oh. There was something in the Merce, right? And of course, the first thing I'm concerned about if I'm dealing with that as an officer is not whether he's got alcohol or drugs in there. The first thing I'm concerned about is my safety and the safety of people around me. I'm concerned about a weapon. So I have to wonder if this cop was dialed into that and his whole goal was to get him outside of the mall away from the high concentration of people and then get and in there. And then get into it. But I think yeah. if he did that, then the tactics he used were wrong because Correct. he found the alcohol in that bag. That's right. So now he has probable cause to search the bag. Yeah. I found an illegal thing in plain view in that bag. I'm going to take this guy into but, custody. But that's my point. It, well, but taking him into custody when he knows the guy's armed in the middle of a mall. Oh, maybe a problem. Okay. That could be a problem. So I, 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 maybe I'm giving him too much credit. But, but he I wouldn't have Columboed him otherwise. Well, and then I, I was thinking that as I was watching it. And then I thought that he very much overreacted. It, it seemed to catch him by surprise. Yeah. So I'm probably wrong. But but I was hope I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt there. So. I hope you guys recognize that Tim and I we haven't rehearsed this stuff. We just yeah. talk, you know, and, and we, we talk through these things with you guys because you're our extended internet friends. Uh -huh. uh, and so I, I do think for uh, any private citizen, those magic words matter. You are free to go. Um, have a nice day. Be safe. I always be, say I like be, be safe. safe yeah. Right. Yeah. And when you hear those words, and then and then that. Oh, can I ask you one more question? Have a nice day, sir. Imagine there's there. a guy in a raincoat with one eye asking you those questions. Right. And turn around, and walk away. And just yeah. have a nice day. <laughs> Doubly, triply, quintuply, especially if you've got stupid things on your person. Right. If and, and listen. <sighs> I'm not gonna say that that means you're a terrible person. Uh, we all break laws every day, okay? So I, I joke with people, it's almost impossible in America today not to occasionally commit a felony. Uh, it's a question of which felonies are you willing to commit? I'm not saying I commit felonies. NSA, I'm very clearly saying I'm not committing felonies. Do you hear me? But uh, listen, I believe that our jurisdiction, our, our, our system of, of laws is probably the best there is. Yep. And it's put in place to protect private citizens from government overreach. Yep. But if you don't know the game, you ain't gonna use the game. And, and people ask me all the time, John, not to go on a, on a tangent, but people ask me all the time, how can you do your job? How can you represent bad, evil people? How can you spend your, your efforts and use your knowledge to try to, to put bad people back out on the street? And two things about that. Number one, I own my own law firm. Yep. So, if I think they're a real scumbag, I say, yeah. get out of no, my thank office, you. right? I don't take this case. But You're my not going to defend Tony Montana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My <laughs> job is not to put bad people on the street. My job is to make sure the government plays by the rules. Right. The I'm, state I'm, does their job. I'm a referee to make sure that the state doesn't just run over our rights and, and, and walk over our rights. That's, and that's very important to me. And I know it is to you as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, so, for sure. And so it's not so much a matter that the guy had methamphetamine. It's a matter of was he treated appropriately according to the laws of our country, according to the Constitution. If not, not acceptable. And it's on the state to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that what was done was against the law. Exactly and, right. and listen, can you do that given the actual rules of the game? That's right. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to make you play the game. Yeah. I mean, imagine if it's football season right now and we said, well, we know that that team is better than this team, so we're just going to award them the win. Yeah, no, no, no reason to play the game. Uh-uh. Show up to the that's game right. and the referees show up and to make sure the game And weird things happen, played. don't they? They Some, do. Sometimes the Division three school beats the Division one school. So. It happens, yep. right? It happens. That's why we watch. So, uh, you know, again, Big thing here. Is it legal for the officer to do that? 100% it is, mm -hmm. because they know the rules. In fact, it's smart. It's very smart. Good cop. Because guess what? He used the Colombo approach and caught a dude with a stolen gun on him. Yep. Okay, so so the, guess what? It was effective. Ask any cop at a barbecue. Next time you're at a barbecue, you've got a cop who's a friend, yeah, and your friend has a cop who's a friend. Walk up to him and just say, hey, weird question, but have you ever done um, a consensual search of a vehicle and then found felony contraband? Yeah. And they'll start laughing. All, all the they'll time. Go, uh, last night, too. Yeah. Every good cop asks every time, and right. it's amazing how stupid criminals are, and that's why it works. Well, and I get it. People don't want to look guilty. But, exactly. But listen, well, if you got meth in the car, you're guilty. I had one client I, in, in custody. First I of all, don't do meth. Why did you give consent? You knew you had drugs in the car. He goes, well, 
I knew if I'd said no, he couldn't search my car, that that would have given him probable cause to search my car. Absolutely not. And I just thought I'd cut to the chase. Absolutely like, not. You didn't do well in civics class, did you? No. I mean, it's very easy to know when it's a consensual search. If the cop asks your permission, it's a consensual search. If you're on the ground and there's a boot on the back of your head and the cops are searching yeah. your car, that's a non-consensual search. Very people, simple. We can talk in another day. People talk, well, they're just going to go get the drug dog. Rodriguez versus United States says they can't do that that's anymore. Right. That is completely gone now. They can't extend a stop. And even if they stop. say that, they're probably bluffing. So just read your book in your car and wait right. for the just, dog. Okay, sir. Yep. What, whenever you're ready to let yep. me go. And, and uh, again, don't consent to searches. And when you hear, you're free to go, be no. safe, have a good day. Go. Amen.